The foundation of a great career as a capital raiser begins with having a substantial investor base. And if you're just consuming social media rather than using social media to get the word out about what you're looking to build, you are really missing out. So today we're going to get into how you can use digital marketing and social media to help build your investor base. But before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button so that way you get notified whenever we release content like this. And don't forget to hit the, the bell too if you're on YouTube, okay? I'm also working on a new show where I answer your questions. To submit a question, simply go to bulletproofcashflow.com. You're going to see a widget there. And you can just speak your question right into the website. It's so cool. So if I answer your question on the air, we'll send you one of our new design t-shirts. They, they're coming out here soon in the next uh, few weeks. And they're going to be totally awesome. Wait till you see them. So let's get into it. So over the past several years, my team and I have been developing our skills in digital marketing to keep up with the demand for online content. And I can tell you from firsthand experience that I've realized the power held by social media and its function to build an investor base. And by using social media, you can improve your reach and show others that you are a subject matter expert in the real estate space, right? So I'm going to share two key things that I learned that will hopefully help and guide you. So the first thing is to understand the social media algorithms and social media platforms like Facebook, for instance, they use something called an algorithm and they use very complex algorithms, in fact, to position content that have the highest engagement. And that means that people are actually looking at it and uh, commenting on it, right? So the ability to interpret the different factors involved with each platform's algorithm will increase the number of people that see your posts and ultimately grow your following. So Facebook has strong incentive to keep consumers on their platform because it helps them generate ad revenue. This is why it's important to take into account two crucial concepts to, to really hack the algorithm. The first concept is to produce content in the form of videos and live streams. Facebook favors this content in, in these formats as it provides a simple way to include advertisements throughout those videos. Now, video content enables your followers to see your face and experience the atmosphere of wherever you are. Maybe you're at a meetup, maybe you're at a property, but ultimately it allows, again, like I said before, Facebook to insert those videos and and as I said, it drives their revenues, right? The second concept is to really understand Facebook's algorithm as, as it pertains to consumer engagement. And when people comment on your posts, it shows that your content keeps getting people on their platform. And therefore, creating engagement is crucial to utilizing Facebook's algorithm. And a great way to boost engagement is to follow the rule, ask, don't tell. And, what this means is that when you're making a post and responding to comments, always endeavor to ask a follow-up question. This will generate responses from people seeking to share their opinions. And Facebook will reward this engagement by boosting the post on people's timelines. And again, that means more exposure for you. And the second big thing is to make yourself stand out. And the influencers who garner the, the biggest follower bases, they create points of difference between themselves and their competitors. And the two things I recommend you do when you're building a reputation for yourself is to provide value to your audience and to take a stand to ultimately find your tribe. And let, let me explain. So Gary V, Gary Vaynerchuk, right? He's one of the most successful names in the world of digital marketing and social marketing. He, he wrote this book a couple of years back called Jab, 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 Right Hook. And he didn't almost publish that book. I mean, he thought that three jabs just weren't enough to convey his message. That's the reason why. And one of his core beliefs is to provide value before you ask for anything in return. And providing valuable content to people looking to mirror your success helps establish your name as an expert within the community. So in the future, your follower base will seek out more of your content. And that's ultimately what you want. You want them to seek you out and to follow your progress. And the second recommendation is to ultimately take a stand, right? This means to divide people through voicing opinions which make you unique, right? And you want to be known to express ideas that go against the consensus as you stand up for saying something that no one else is willing or even able to say. And, the people in your audience that agree with you, and that's your target market. That's your tribe. 
you know, and as people who agree with you and your philosophies, they, they, they're most likely to follow you and to trust you and ultimately even, even invest with you. And the third part is to understand people, right? Another significant factor in understanding the person to identify the subjects that resonate with them. And for instance, in sales, you need to know what makes someone tick. And one of the biggest mistakes that people make is that they try to, they find one thing that works and they try to copy the exact process across the, across every single client that they talk to. And this is a no, no, you don't do that. Right? There's no cut and paste procedure for social interactions. You need to treat it like, like a, like a doctor visit. The doctor asks you a series of relevant questions, diagnose an issue or a problem, and then they decide the treatment. They don't just simply give you the last, you know, the medication they gave the last guy. You know, they're going to focus on you and you must do the same thing when you're talking to, to your audience and even to your investors. You know, what is, who, who is your target? What is their risk tolerance? How much capital do they want to invest? What are their goals? You know, take the time to, to understand and learn these types of things from, from, your, from your investors and from your audience. And you know, ultimately, you're able to put that person in the right deal when they come along. So now if you need help raising capital or if you're looking for help getting into your first deal, check out our coaching program at bulletproofcashflow.com. And of course, if you have any questions, leave a comment and I'll answer it. would love to hear from you. And of course, don't forget bulletproofcashflow.com. You can ask a question there. Uh, and if you enjoyed this content, please help me out by liking it, share it, tell your friends about it, okay? And don't forget to subscribe, all right? Be bulletproof, guys. Talk to you soon.